Tobacco Factory Theatres used to be an actual tobacco factory, filled with the makings of cigarettes and was the epicentre of many people's livelihoods. When the factory closed, many jobs were lost and the area soon spiralled into one of great poverty. By 1990, most of the old buildings had been flattened, but one was saved. Today, the area is thriving and the theatre is at its heart. When I first came to Bristol over 20 years ago, I'd walked past these amazing derelict factory buildings ready for demolition on Rally Road and hoped that somebody might save them and put them to good use. That eventually happened and now we have the tobacco factory theatres right at the heart of what makes Bristol such an amazing place to live and work. So what makes this place special and why does it make such a difference to so many people? It's such a communal centre for people to access art and like, especially if you want to go into acting it's just so inspiring to have so many great resources near you in one building. Since moving to Bristol as a, a, an artist myself, a performance poet, the Tobacco Factory has really helped me find my feet and establish myself as that in the city and further on. Last year we worked with 1,700 children and young people from across Bristol and further afield. One of the key things of our programme is ensuring that, there, that financial situations aren't a barrier to involvement. So making sure that we have funding in place to subsidise fees, transport and anything else we can help with so that those children and young people from more disadvantaged backgrounds can still participate in our activities. And the Tobacco Factory tries really hard to make sure it's not like a school and um, they've let me through to an older group because I, they thought that I was quite good at acting. I mean it's going to help me with my GCSEs but um, it's like helped me build relationships with other people and know how to deal with more things so I can put that into different situations. I get out, I meet a lot of nice people and you get to, I feel like I can be someone else which sounds like a bad thing but it is really good to do and I really enjoy it. My first experience of seeing live theatre was getting a free ticket to come and see a show. It was brilliant. Ever since we formed, Spack Factory Theatres has sat firmly at the heart of the community. Last year we hosted 40,000 people through the doors, coming to talks, workshops or community events. Shakespeare Schools Festival being one of those. My name is Helen Thomas and I volunteer with Tobacco Factory Theatres and once a month I come here with my community group, the U3A. We love, we love Tobacco Factory Theatre is important to me because having been next to Rigo two years ago, I find it a very big interest on what there is available to us locally. The Wardrobe Theatre wouldn't exist if it wasn't for the Tobacco Factory Theatres. We all met here working at the Tobacco Factory and it was a huge inspiration for us. Yes, and they've been a constant support since we set up five years ago and still are today, so long live Tobacco Factory. There's no doubt that the Tobacco Factory has transformed this area almost completely. We've seen it over probably 20 years change and it's hard to think that there is a bigger driver for that change than the theatre and the cultural activity that's going on. You've got essentially professional theatre right in the heart of a community that appreciates it. People are coming to the theatre that wouldn't normally come to the theatre because it's accessible and it's on their doorstep and it's, it's, it's here. I love that. That's really good. Thank you. As a charity, Tobacco Factory Theatres can't do all this without your help. Please donate what you can to Tobacco Factory Theatres in the Community Appeal. Thank you.